It was a moment of crisis for gay rights and civil society in Georgia. On July the 5th, far-right protesters attacked LGBT activists and dozens of journalists ahead of a planned Pride march, injuring dozens of people. For some activists, the sadness that followed the unrest gave rise to a powerful sense of solidarity. <laughs> Organisers began planning a week of Pride events many months in advance, enlisting the police and private guards to provide security. Their caution was justified. As Pride week began, religious and far-right groups threatened to disrupt the events. Sapatriarko Sakartolshi accredited El Chepsa, the Europe Parliament, Arab Supir Spideva, the Pilisi Pride is in Ardek, Mukalakevs, Kuchashigamus, Lisk and Mozovets. As some Pride events went ahead without major interruptions, others were marred by protesters hurling abuse. <laughs> For years, Georgian LGBT activists battling discrimination have faced opposition from conservatives who said they were defending traditional Georgian values. On July the 5th, Prime Minister Irakli Garabashvili aligned himself with the Georgian Orthodox Church and right-wing groups. <laughs> Garabashvili's critics would later accuse him and other politicians of emboldening the anti-gay protesters to turn on the activists. Just before the planned march, violence exploded on the streets as far-right demonstrators, some in a so-called march of dignity, attacked activists and passers-by caught up in the chaos. They also targeted journalists, accusing the press of spreading anti-Georgian sentiments. <laughs> Two RFERL reporters were among at least 50 journalists who were injured. Organizers called off the Pride March and fled their office as attackers scaled the walls of the group's headquarters. Lexo Lashkarova, a TV cameraman who was severely beaten, died several days later. The circumstances of his death were unclear, with the Interior Ministry claiming he died of an overdose, while others said the government was covering up the cause. A day after the attacks, thousands rallied in Tbilisi to denounce the violence. For many LGBT activists, the weeks that followed were a time to take stock of the challenges they faced. <laughs> Some described an outpouring of support from allies at home and abroad. Tavari <laughs> 
The events also drew wider attention to the state of civil society and human rights in Georgia overall. The EU, United States and other governments condemned the mob brutality and called on the Georgian government to protect citizens' rights to assemble peacefully. For LGBT activists, the violence, anger and cancelled Pride March will remain a reminder of the long road ahead in the fight for acceptance.